<laughs> it's like I just totally just lost track of mind that I had a rocket on. At least I was just running around. Because I had like five shots left in the sniper and I thought, right, I've got to plan it out well. I just like, just look, just totally just lost that I had the rocket. I just turned around, literally was just there, bang, I just blew him up. Obviously it didn't kill me because I had jumped, but then obviously I got hit and I died. It's obviously since I'm full red. Crazy. Stalingrad. Or some twisted echo of what it should have been. Yeah, Probon. I yeah. believe we will restore order to this chaos. That just depends on what... What guns I get. Because <clears throat> if I get the... What's that? This stupid wonder weapon. Is it's not called the Raygun Marksman, is it? I can't remember. Or is Black Ops 3 is just much more better than Black Ops 4. Wow, yeah, it's like there's more. There is like. To, to be fair, there's like. Regal Mark 3, that's it, yeah. Uh, there is like, there is more things to do and stuff, but. I think. The whole from foul order that hangs in the air. Like the whole gameplay. I personally think the whole gameplay of four is better. The actual gameplay. It's actually smoother. And they've actually kinda of made for Black Ops 4, they've kinda of made it so it's more new user friendly in a way. Because of the whole like, oh, you don't have to reload to get when you get my summer. It automatically does it for you. And then like, with all that I fear, even Rick Toffin may not understand. Uh, with the whole points point system of where it's like, you do the most damage. If you basically kill them in one hit, you get more points. But obviously with this. It's how it used to. It's how it used to be for the past ten, well, nine years. You shoot zombies, and then you stab to get the most points. So I think. That's the best, like, that's, like, the good thing about it. Plus, to me, I reckon, on the four, they kind of made it more, there was... Unfavorable time for munitions to roll. They were more likely concentrating on, like, the whole... quotes and... the actual storytelling. Oh, I do not know who said <laughs> Thank you. But unless you fight for the glory, um, thanks for the follow. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Hey. Demons shall 
because it's weird because I've not actually played this for a very long time, like a very long time, and it just feels kind of weird that for the fact there is a big difference between this and Black Ops 4. Plus, from what I said, that the actual gameplay is. is appreciated. The actual gameplay for 4 is better. It's more smoother in a way. And it's like. But with this, it's more game. like, it's more towards gameplay than it is anything else. I personally think that's the reason why the game was so like with Black Ops 4, it got so much shit. It's because at the beginning, yeah, you, like you get you get crashes and stuff. It's just like it really didn't. I forgot the word. I'm brain farted again. Optimized. That's it. They didn't really optimize it, and plus, the graphics is a little bit better in a way. Power Systems operational. Access. And it's like it's like the systems just couldn't, couldn't keep up with it. Like it wasn't meant for the for these systems. In a way. But now it's obviously bad. You can actually play the game without it crashing. Right. Let's see what the first gun is. No luck. So it is. Though I have no ammo. I am sure the spirits will not abandon me. Not bad. Perhaps you have come to help me, friend. Not bad. That would be good. For years I had only one friend. <laughs> Say hello to Vodka. Delirium appears to have consumed this dimension's Nikolai. <laughs> I got the dingo in the Raven Mark III. What a actual like combination. It does uh, it does feel smooth but the way the zombies move The way the zombies move they cut you off before you even know where you are going. Yeah, whoa, well, like the kid did what well, the kid they, they did kind of tone it down a bit. No matter how broken the let's, world, demons still succumb to our borders. Let's be honest, uh, the actual like animations of zombies has been the same. Well, we must since... capitalize on this moment of fortune. Well, wow, World of War. It has technically been the same since World of War. In with Black Ops War, they actually made it so there was actually full on animations towards the zombie swings. Like it wasn't, as you know, back on this you could get triple hit instantly, like bang. It's like, what the hell just happened? Golf module deployed. But it's like now, uh, they actually swing. They actually do a full on animation to swing at you. They don't just instantly hit you. Under attack. But it kind of feels weird that I haven't got. Technology can be a worthy ally. I haven't got unlimited sprint. It kind of feels weird. Dragon flames do not consume us this day. May this energy tear you from existence. I love you too, Dave. I love you too. I love you too. like even the whole like the voices on this game it just seems 
Thing, it just seems strange to me. I don't know why. The quotes and stuff. I am reinvigorated. Plus, there's no. There isn't actually any thing you need there. No subtitles. Yeah, it's way better. To be, to be honest, Black Ops 4's actual gameplay is better. It's a lot smoother. Ain't the supply supply room code? It's this one, isn't it? The yellow one, or is this the tank depot? Ah, oh, that's the tank factory. Is this the yellow one? Can't even remember. Potion awakens something within. So this is the red. It's red. Yeah, level thousand. Yeah, yeah. I've been a level thousand for quite some time. <laughs> yeah, the five hundred. Oh, if you want to get to a thousand, just keep at it. Well, to be fair, if you want to get, if you just want to rank up, if you actually want to get to a thousand, just play Revelations. Play Revelations, get the Apothecant Servant pack a bunch, get the Thunder Gun, and then get a normal gun. I don't know, any gun that you want, and then we. Uh, Verrucht, where does that? Well, it's where you go back to Verrucht, is the window. Because one of the boxes can spawn there. It's next to Sleight of Hand. Well, it's not really, it's not next to Sleight of Hand, but it's near it. Console? Wait, mate, it's been so long since I've played these maps. I don't even remember. Where's the thing? Oh, it's down there. Uh, just get that. Get the Puffer Conservant Thunder Gun. Use the. Well, to be, it doesn't really matter what gobble guns you use, to be fair, but. Uh, sit next to that window. There's a window. You come, say, when you you come through the portal, the turret, the circle pit, and then you can turn, you go forward, you turn left, you go up the stairs, and then there's a window, and then there's a window there, isn't there? And basically, you're abrupt. If you keep within that square bit, they only spawn from them two windows. So if you've got the Apothecary Servant, just keep shooting it. Well, just shoot it in the corner. Pack, obviously, get Packer Punched. And just stay within that area. Shoot it in the corner. And then it sucks all the zombies to it. And plus you can get drops as well. And then when you get insta-kill... When you get insta-kill... Just sit in the corner, and then because they only spawn from those two windows, you can just literally just stay there and just keep your finger on trigger. If you've got a normal other gun, just go pretty fast without using, without using like the Apothecary Servant in the front of it. That's the way that I've wrapped up. Yeah, I don't know, because on... Uh, on Black Ops 4, I'm ninth prestige. Because I'm also trying to get, as you can see, I've obviously got Dark Matter. Well, I'm not really only a zombies player, but I mainly am, in a way, because... I ain't buy these games just for zombies, but I'm a completionist, and obviously I've got to play a line, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. I finished online, I've actually got to master online. I only get to master, I don't get to a thousand. I've got Dark Matter online, and now I'm doing it for zombies. But at the same time, these I know for a fact that these maps are definitely if they're gonna they're definitely gonna come to Black Ops 4. You can see it coming. 
with the whole Zombie Chronicles thing. Zombie Chronicles 2 or whatever you're gonna call it. And it makes sense for them to do it because it's supposedly, well, it's supposedly going to be like the last thing for the Aoife story. But it's like, you don't really know that they could like reboot it in a way or something silly. And then they could bring, uh, it would make sense for them to bring back all the other maps. Every, literally every single map from previous zombies and put on Black Ops so make It would make sense for them to do that. It's a no-brainer. So then it's like... With this whole, like... People giving it shit because... It hasn't got this, it hasn't got that. Oh, this is way better. But then it's like... Now, you can play on every single map from all the others on Black Ops 4. It's kind of like this in a way. You can play every single map, almost nearly every single map just on this one game. But then it's like, for Black Ops 4, they could full on make it so every single map is on Black Ops 4. From World at War to Black Ops 3. So every single map, naturally, from naturally Totem to Revelations. It makes sense for them to do that. And then, you know what will make it even better? Like, this is what I personally think they should do, but I don't, I don't think they'll do it though. So, 100% that Zombie Chronicles is definitely coming to four. Hundred percent. It's a no-brainer. And what I personally think they should do is when they bring those maps back, right? You play as these lot. You play as Ultimus or Primus, whatever. And then do what they did on Black Ops One. You start off it. Uh... <laughs> Thank you. Where did you get the? Hey, cheers for the follow, T. TV Jonathan, is that right? TV, cheers, cheers for the follow, dude, appreciate it. What's the, what was the first map that you had to do on Black Ops 1? Wasn't it? It was Call of the Dead, that's it. Call of the Dead to get the focus in, well, the rod. Get the rod, and then you had to do, to carry it on, you had to do thingy. Shangri-La to get the focus in stone. And then you go on Moon to finish it. That's what I personally think they should do. But if they do bring back Zombie Chronicles to Black Ops 4, you start off at Notch and Detoting, and then you do Easter eggs. From that map, all the way to Revelations, all the way to Moon, wherever. And then it, it gives more people a reason to play it. Because then you could get a different like, on take of the, the actual story, in a way. With, with, since that, we're in the broken timeline in a way, because then this is the pro broken timeline of the original story, but it's within the broken timeline, so everything's different. Because, like, just imagine how cool it that well, how funny it would be if, like, you're playing Call of the Dead. Instead of playing as the actors, you actually play as Primus or Ultimus. So you're playing as Richtofen, and Richtofen's on the other side of the door. And then they start communicating together. Like, how the hell am I outside? What's going off there? How am I out there? Dempsey and everyone. So they start talking to themselves. So it's like, right, we've changed some it. So now, instead of teleporting you to Shangri-La, we need to teleport you somewhere else or something. You need to get, or you, we need to kill you. Something silly. Oh, instead of you going here now, we need, you need to die. Oh, we need you to, to do this instead. I need you to get this. It, 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 there's so much like opportunities that they could do for Black Ops 4 zombies. It's that. If they don't do it, they just... They deserve a slap. They really do.
If they don't bring Zombie Chronicles to Black Ops 4, they deserve a really big slap in the face. Literally from ev nearly every single map, every single map from Zombies is on Black Ops 4. Because it may, look, look at, even when you go on the actual loading screen, there's a big, like, within the map selection. It, oh, look at this right big gap in the screen. You are not worthy. Oh, yeah, that's when we bring uh, Zombie Chronicles into game. That's all that is. This weapon's power brings only one outcome. Destruction. And then it's like from Alpha Omega. Great, mate, that'd be, mate, that'd be stupidly good. Alpha Omega, you've done the Easter egg on Alpha Omega. You send the Avogatro to transit, and then it carries on. They could get so much money if, you, if, if they do that too. Yeah, exactly. It's a no-brainer. It's really a no-brainer. If they don't do it, they just deserve a slap. And you know what? Even we, like, this is definitely taking it out of like. There's, 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 there's no way like they would, they would actually do this. But. Imagine. Once more, we are breast. DLC four comes out. Yeah, right. We do the Easter egg. We get the cutscene. Get last cutscene. Whatever it's going to be. If it's going to be a reboot. If it's going to be this. If it's going to be that. If this happens, if they die, blah blah blah. And then for the actual Easter egg completion, you go back to the main menu and it says, right, congratulations, you've basically beat. You've beat it, you've done everything, you've done it. You've beat Ether, you've beat the Ogarthi, you've beat the Shadow Man, you've got to Monty. Don't we know not why? And then it says, right, now, go back to when it all started and start from the beginning again. And then you unlock every single map from match all the way to Revelations. Obviously, that would be absolutely fantastic if they did that, but obviously, that would never happen. Captain. That really wouldn't. That wouldn't happen. If they did that, that would be like the best Easter egg, like actual completion ever. You get every single map from the previous games, and then it says, "Right, do it from beginning again." The demons evaporate from existence itself. That would be awesome if they did that. It really would. And then it's like, it would bring a lot of people back to it. Because then it's like, oh, I prefer the, like, the whole this is gameplay of four. Courage. So I've got two, like, what, well, options. I could play Black Ops 3, but I can't play Call of the Dead, Transit, Buried, Die Rise. Farm, bus depot, town. Can't play them because it's not part. It's not really these lot. And then it's like I could play Black Ops Four, but I could play those maps. Plus, I can play as Ultimus or Primus. That because that's the selling point. It's the characters. Because, yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, with the whole. The whole, like, chaos. Me. The whole, like, chaos story plot. Well, the whole, like, chaos. Story that they put behind it, the working stuff. It did have something good. But. The main reason why I didn't kick off is because of the characters. That's the main reason why. 
since oh these Greek gods Hercules oh it's like you're basically playing Indiana Jones in a way but it just didn't kick off because of the fact it was the characters this zombies mode is the characters if they didn't have these characters it wouldn't have gone it wouldn't even got where it is now no chance no ripped off in no Dempsey attack your Nikolai what the hell is this because like just imagine how like many people when when they did the whole stream for when black when DLC 2 came out well yeah DLC 2 came out and it's like right from this point on every other map the second the last two maps is either story whoa imagine how many people like that's all right Instead of be saying, oh, the last two maps are chaos. Oh, fucking no, I've got to play these lot. I've got to play as these again. Oh, since it's Eve's oh, mate, Eve's story, what are you talking about? It's because they know they get to play as these characters. That's all it is. I have been watching. I have seen each and every one of your misdeeds. I know who you are. Sounds ominous. And obviously. So you get to kill this dude. Good, because it fucking is. He's basically manipulating everything. He can con he can do everything he wants. Hence, at the end of Revelations, he can click his fingers. He can do a Thanos. Just click his fingers, boom, everyone's dead if he really wanted to, but he can't because he needs this cycle to carry on. That's, that's, that's the whole point of his power. That's why he manipulates it all the time, so he's in power. Like, he's the one... He's the one who's manipulating... The timeline. He's, the, he's everything. Dr. Monty. The Shadow Man and Dr. Monty's everything. They can basically do anything. Of the universe is fractured He's and broken. Basically, something that you clowns hold more than at least some. He's the master where the chess boards. That's all it is. You're gonna fix it. Look, just do what you usually do. Listen out for radios and things, and I'll help wherever I can. And obviously, that's the only reason why he wants to keep it as that. Because if he comes out of power. <laughs> What's it, what, what can he do? Nothing. And I still do personally think they're gonna hide, they've got, I reckon there's gonna be some big behind Nikolai. Since he's the one now that we're kind of following. I personally think they're gonna hide something big behind him. And it's like, the one thing the one thing that we've not really seen is this woman that he talks about when she was taken from us, the Great War. Obviously, you get more information of this at the end of this Easter egg, but it's like... Yeah, it could be probably thinking, yeah, he's probably thinking about this, the Great War, like World War One, World War Two. But it's like the Great Great War. What's this supposed last map we're going to? If it is going to be the Great War, and it's like, after all this time, they could have made it so Nikolai was actually, he was the keeper. He's actually a keeper. He's the keeper. He had a wife. He had a, he had his wife, and she got killed in the Great War. Oh, we've got the elemental shard now, so we can go back and then revive her or something, and then they gain like they've got more power or something to fight Doctor Monte. I don't know. Obviously, this time we've got 
we've got Samantha on our side. Well, we've got Samantha there, so then it's like... It's a no-brainer. Fingers gonna come back. With... Uh... Yeah, I even got pack a punch token, yeah. The... The staffs. The staffs are 100% gonna come back. Because then it's like... We're back in the Great War. I will Since Origins, that is lost it's just... Or it were just replicas of the staffs. It wasn't the full power of the staffs. So then it's like, right, now we're going to have actually the staffs, the actual proper staffs, and then it's like, it's going to be more powerful. And obviously since each crystal kind of represents each character, the whole... Well, it doesn't really represent them, but... I say the only crystal that actually represents the character is obviously the red one. Is the fire staff from Nikolai. Since new rig on ability is most impressive. Since it's more of a well, it's like with Nikolai, it fights for the people. It protects people, it helps people, and then it's like... That's what kind of happens on Bloody the Dead Ending. Rick Toffin's got the red crystal, he uses it, and then he frees all the souls within Blood of the Dead. He actually frees everyone, so then it's like... That kind of represents Nikolai, in a way. He's actually helping the people. We'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see. So I think that's the whole reason why they kind of delayed the whole factions since this or oh, when they revealed zombies on that day oh we're bringing factions to the game so it then it's like you're in your own like clan but, every turn, but then new enemies emerge from the shadows it's like there's not really anything behind the game but then it's like oh we bring zombie chronicles into it Nah, there is. Because then people can play... Oh. It's not really anything behind the game. So, they could like make things like, right, each clan's got their own... It's like a weekly thing. Right, get to... Who can get the highest rounds on this certain map? So it's like, for example, what? Well, Kino, we play Kino. You play Kino, and then it says right. Whoever the clan, like the clan with the most rounds or rounds beat on Kino, get like a special award or something. But so then, there's more of a reason the of such for them to do that. Questionable. Because then it would give more people a reason to play it. Or you get like a skin. Or something, I don't know. You get a, you get a skin for doing it, and it's like 
It's a very unique skin because you can only get it if you win. Or weapon skin. Well, it would mainly just be a weapon skin. Unless... If they actually sort themselves out, instead of bringing face paints, they actually bring something actually useful for zombies. An actual proper, like... Like, actual character skins. Instead of actually making the staffs an actual wonder weapon on the map, why don't they just make it so when you play the last DLC, if it is the Great War, why don't they just make it so when you play set that each of the characters, oh, plus at the same time it's like, you, well no, because you can actually pick, can't you, the specialist weapons. So if the last map is the Great War, so if you play as Nikolai, well, well, it doesn't really matter. You get each staff as the specialist weapon, and obviously each one's unique. They, they do their own thing. So it's like you can use it, but it's just not. You can't use it forever in a way because it's your specialist weapon.
so many ways they could bring back Black Ops 4. So many. I didn't even pack a bunch yet.
advanced weaponry. You were an unworthy opponent. Dear. Once more, we are blessed with fresh supplies. Such surprise is often uh, questionable.
battle you will not win. To be fair, I can't even remember where. Don't the head normally spawn around you? I've got a feeling it's around here somewhere. You are not worthy. I don't think it spawns around here, does it? <laughs> I can't, literally cannot remember where the hell the shield spawns or the head bar. I genuinely cannot remember. Ugh. So now the first piece normally spawns around here. Or is it the second piece? The one in the middle. Because it normally spawns in this room, on the car, or the bottom of the, of the water. And then the other piece, it spawns around here. Because it can be on that wall where I got it. <sighs> oh, never mind, just just leave it. <laughs> I want to find it. Destruction. 
I don't agree with it. But that was bad. day. Should we tell him our true purpose here?
I guess we all want to get fucking fucking some of the fucking butt. Never mind. Oh, 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 o